Middelburg is a municipality and a city in the southwestern Netherlands and the capital of the province of Zeeland. Situated on the central peninsula of the Zeeland province, Midden Zeeland, it has a population of about 48,000. History The city of Middelburg dates back possibly to the late 8th century or early 9th century. The first mention of Middelburg was as one of three fortified towns erected on Walteren to guard against Viking raids. In 844 a monastery was built on the site, which remained an active Catholic foundation until the Reformation. Foundations for Middelburg's stately and picturesque cathedral were first laid in the 10th century. Additional construction continued through the Middle Ages. Middelburg was granted city rights in 1217. During the Middle Ages, it became an important trading center in the commerce between England and the rising cities of Flanders. The town continued to gain in power and prestige during the 13th and 14th centuries. In the Eighty Years' War, Middelburg was captured from the Spanish forces during a long siege. The northern provinces of the original Low Countries won their independence from their former Spanish Habsburg rulers and formed the Netherlands, a Protestant state. Later, in the 17th century, Middelburg became, after Amsterdam, the most important centre for the East India Company of Republic of the Seven United Netherlands or Dutch East India Company. Middelburg played an important role in the 17th century slave trade. Samuel ben Israel, son of Menasseh ben Israel, is buried in Middelburg at the Sephardic burial site located at the Joden Gang, outside the city wall. Menasseh ben Israel negotiated with Cromwell the opening of England, and the colonies, to the Jews. Middelburg also has an Ashkenazi burial site, which is located at the Wall Ennisingel inside the city wall. In 1994 the synagogue was restored, as it was partially destroyed during the Second World War. This synagogue was the third one to be built in the Netherlands during the Golden Age. In the hall of the railway station there is a plaque of remembrance for the Jews of Zeeland who started their journey to the death camps from the Middelburg train station. About a third of the old city centre was bombed in the early phases of World War II on May 17, 1940. It is still not sure whether it were German bombers or French artillery. The town was captured and liberated by British troops during Operation Infatuate on 5 November 1944. After the war, as much of the destroyed part of the old town centre was rebuilt and restored along pre-war lines as possible. The city's archives, however, had been incinerated during the German bombardment. Modern Middelburg has preserved and regained much of its historic and picturesque character. There are lavish 17th and 18th century merchant houses and storehouses standing along canals of a similar style as found in cities like Amsterdam. The old city moats are still there, as are two of the city gates, the Coerport Gate and the Varkensport Gate. Part of the 18th century moat and defence works, however, were demolished in the 19th century to make way for a commercial canal that crosses Waltrin from Vlissing and Tavir. The medieval abbey is still in use today, as a museum and as the seat of the provincial government. The painter Peter Gall was born and, after travelling over Europe to paint, settled and died here. Another well-known citizen of Middelburg was the admiral and explorer Jacob Rogavine, who was born in the city in 1659 and died there in 1729. Rogavine discovered Easter Island, Rapa Nui, in the South Pacific on Easter Sunday, April 6, 1722. Further discoveries on the same journey included islands of the Tuamotu group, now part of French Polynesia. Geography Aside from the city of Middelburg, the municipality also includes several population centres, including Arnhemuaden, Kleberskerke, Nieuwen St. Jusland, St. Lawrence. Climate The climate is a maritime climate with mild winters and cool summers. Rain falls throughout the year, reaching its height at the end of the summer and in the autumn, spring tends to be somewhat drier. 
The climate has warmed since 1988, winters are even milder than they used to be and are extremely mild for the high latitude. Winters are dark and days are short, with the sun only appearing above the horizon for 7 to 8 hours a day. Mild winters tend to be particularly gloomy, with barely any sun and lots of wind and rain. Cold winters tend to be snowy and freezing but also sunny, with people skating on the canals near the city. Rainfall is pretty even throughout the year, about 810 mm of precipitation falls in an average year. This has risen steeply in recent years, but has been on the rise since at least 1900. Global warming has had a regional effect on the nearby North Sea, which has become 2 degrees Celsius warmer in the past 50 years. Thus coastal regions are experiencing a steeper rise in rainfall than areas in the east of the country. Middleburg is no exception. The climate is good for agriculture. Grain, sugar beets, potatoes, corn, and grassland for horses and cows are the most common site. Apple and pear trees are also cultivated. The city contains all sorts of broad-leafed and coniferous species which do well in the cool climate. Near the abbey complex there are a couple of beautiful red beaches. Some large conifers can be found in the city centre as well. Spruces in particular tend to get too big for gardens and are cut down after a few years. At Terhuga, a castle to the west of the city, there is a small beech forest with some oak and some specimen trees of Norway and Serbian spruce. I. Sequoia septem pavirans, I. Caucasian fir, and larch trees. In gardens people tend to plant a mix of coniferous and broad-leafed species. Christmas trees are planted on many occasions after Christmas. They also try to plant subtropical trees like figs or palm trees and even olive trees due to the warming of the climate. If taken care of in winter, these can survive, although they are still not well suited for the climate. In detail there is a marked difference between Vlissingen and Middleburg, especially in warm summers and even more in cold winters or during colder spells. Especially minimum temperatures year-round tend to be much lower than in Vlissingen. To give you an impression, the minima in Middleburg are much closer to stations 200 km to the northeast than Vlissingen, 8 km to the southwest. This is because of the city being 8 km inland while Vlissingen KNMI is only 10 m from the shore. The influence of the tempering sea is huge there. The KNMI station from Vlissingen was placed from the current shore position to 3 km inland from 1948 to 1957. To the surprise of the meteorologist, temperatures were much lower, to such an extent that there could be no correction calculated for it. On occasion, these differences can amount 10 C, especially during clear summer nights after hot, dry days. The cold record was easily broken in that short period and went from minus 16 to minus 20 in 1956. To give an indication about how remarkable this was, the chief of the KNMI station did not believe this value and checked the thermometer himself again. In later years, calibrated measurements just 2 km northeast of Middleburg have shown that these differences indeed are common. Temperatures differences of 7 to 10 degrees Celsius have been recorded frequently. As mentioned especially in calm summer nights and snow-covered bright winter nights. Tropical nights have never been measured near Middleburg in the last 15 years, they were not infrequent in Vlissingen. Also temperatures have dropped near the record values after 1956 near Middleburg, but never dipped below minus 12 degrees in Vlissingen. Another example is the record low for August in Vlissingen. This is about 9 to 10 C over the last 40 years, a value that is reached virtually every year in Middleburg. The reason for these differences are the distance to the sea, low-lying areas cooling and warming easily, less wind and longer and deeper snow covers in winter, with snow remaining fresher because of no thaw, making it more radiative. This difference is not confined to Vlissingen. Also Wilhelmina Dorp KNMI 20 km east of Middleburg tends to record higher temperatures in clear nights with a snow cover, while summer nights are similar. 
For example, in 2012 Middleburg noted minus 17.2 degrees Celsius and six days with a minimum between minus 10 degrees and minus 15 degrees Celsius and an average of minus 9.5 degrees Celsius over the first 10 days. Vlissingen and Wilhelmina Dorp never went below minus 11 degrees Celsius and this was the only day with a temperature below minus 10 degrees Celsius there. Moreover, the average on those stations was 2 degrees to 4 degrees Celsius higher than Middleburg Northeast. Another thing that also can be seen on KNMI charts is the fact that snow cover is bigger and lasts a lot longer in Middleburg than the coast, especially but also to all other parts of the province. The explanation, at least since 2002, is that lake effect snow showers do reach the city, but the mild air frequently does not. In those situations, amateur stations directly on the coast note temperatures well above freezing and even rain while in Middleburg the mercury remains just all well below zero with snowfall. Just a couple of kilometers more inland the snow showers break up and no snowfall is recorded. In this way, Middleburg seems to be in just the right position. An example is the period the 27th of November 2010 to the 30th of December 2010 in which Middleburg had 26 days with snow cover, Wilhelmina Dorp 18, and Vlissingen 17 days. The cumulative snow cover in Middleburg was between 161 cm and 223 cm while coastal stations reached 84 cm over that period. The biggest snow cover in recent years was 20 to 27 centimeters in February 2003 and December 2010 and the highest ever may have been no more than 35 centimeters or so in 1957 or 1958. Snow cover measurements tend to be difficult because many times they coincide with a lot of wind. Piling snow up to dunes of a meter or so in one place with bare soil next to it. In summer, temperature differences are big at night, but less so at day. In general though, in warm conditions Middleburg is warmer than the coast and sea breezes have an effect but not as big as on the coast. In general a sharp rise is cut off, in spring a clear fall in temperature is more common. In summer most of the time the temperature rise stops in the afternoon. Again, compared to climate charts of Lissingen we will rarely see a big difference this time. That is because of a peculiarity. The sea breeze comes from the north. This means that Vlissingen can remain 5 to 7 degrees Celsius cooler all day with an east or southeast wind. Meanwhile, much warmer air is situated to the north of the city. The incoming northerly sea breeze first pushes the hot air over Vlissingen giving a short sharp rise in temperature followed by a subsequent fall. Afterwards, also, the KNMI station is situated with the city surround it to the north, giving the mercury a slight extra push when the sea breezes kicks in. In the average maximum the duration of the maximum is not noted, the difference is there anyways. Highest temperatures recorded in recent years in Middleburg is 36.1 degrees Celsius in 2003 and 36.6 degrees Celsius in 2006. In most years, the absolute maximum is mostly 32 degrees or 33 degrees Celsius on no more than a couple of days. Note that these are details and the climate of Zealand and the whole Netherlands and even the whole continental North Sea area is very even because of the lack of mountains and proximity to the sea in combination with a dominant westerly flow. Other exceptional weather events can be the occasional supercell thunderstorm which rarely produce tornadoes. In recent history only one tornadic event went just southwest of the city leaving a trail of damage from Ritham to Capella in which cars were picked up by the funnel and severely damaged. Water spouts are pretty frequent along the coast but they never reach Middleburg and only very big ones can partially be seen from the outskirts in the west of the city every once in a while. Somewhat frequent events are knocked to loose scent clouds near the pinnacle of summer, which can only be seen outside of the city. These are ice clouds which are situated much above normal cloud layers at 80 kilometers or so. They have a neon blue-like, beautiful appearance. 
Another astronomical phenomenon is the aurora borealis. These in fact occur every year on a few days, but rarely as spectacular. Once in every 10 to 12 years, the auroral oval can be pushed even south of the city and a corona can be seen. The cloudy climate prevents sightings on many occasions. So spectacular displays as said a pretty year and tend to focus near sunspot maxima on the sun. Gallery. Town Hall. View to the Long Yan. De Lundens KAAI. Near Town Gate. Monumental Building. De Clavinia's Door Ellen. Middleburg Windmill. Molen de Hoop. Culture and Recreation. When William of Orange decided to found the first university in the Netherlands in 1575, he initially considered locating it in Middleburg. Ultimately he chose Leiden, however, and Middleburg, as well as all of Zeeland, remained without a university until 2004 when University College Roosevelt, affiliated with Utrecht University, was established. Cultural Institutions Zeus Museum, SBKM de Vliechel, Zeus Archief, Zeus Bibliothek, Centrum Beeld en de Kunst, Theatres and Concert Halls Schauburg, Concert Zaal Zeeland, Spiegel Theatre, Minna Theatre, Film Theatre Shutterschoff, Sports Middleburg has a field hockey club, MMHC, a rugby club, Emo Mono, and four football clubs. MZVC, Zeelandia Middleburg, Jong Ambon and FC Dorau and Dela. Jong Ambon is translated Young Ambon and consists of mostly Ambonese players. FC Dorau and Dela is the main club in Dorau and Dela. Transportation. Middleburg has a railway station with intercity train connections to Vlissingen, Goes, Roosendal, Rotterdam, The Hague, Leiden, Schiphol International Airport, Amsterdam, and Almira, among others. Two trains leave every hour in both directions. Twin cities. Vilvoorde, Belgium. Nagasaki, Japan. Glogau, Poland. Samaria, Romania. Tias, Romania. Folkestone, United Kingdom.